Courage for me is being able to stand up and say what you believe in, because sometimes that takes a lot. Courage is when other people are against you, standing up and saying, this is what I believe in. Courage is doing what you think is right, following your guts. It's not about what makes you popular, what saying what you think other people want to hear. It's about staying true to yourself and doing what you think matters. What is a mistake but a learning opportunity? Having the courage is knowing that you can't fail, that you can't get things wrong, that things might not go the way that you intend them to, but whatever happens, it's a learning opportunity and you can pick yourself up and you can carry on. It's like the child learning to walk. If a child fell over and fell over again and then decided they were gonna give up, then they'd never learn. But if they had the courage to pick themselves up and keep trying and falling and trying and falling, then, well, like all of us, eventually we learn to stand on our two feet. Courage in life is just like that. Courage looks different in every single situation. It's really important that you pick your battles. And I don't say that because it's about necessarily conserving energy, even though that's important, but it's also to reflect on why you are entering the fray and having those fights to begin with. And this is where I think it's worthwhile interrogating in yourself why it is that you are doing the things that you are doing. Is it because you are interested in status or glory or being the person on the pedestal? Or is it about the co-papa? Is it about values? Is it about principle? Because if it is about that latter, that second thing, then you can go in guns blazing and make anything happen. But you also can recognize that it doesn't have to be you who is front and center. And I think that is perhaps the most courageous and selfless way that any person can enter a situation or a conflict. To me, courage is about being brave and making that choice to step forward. I think courage is a really important part of life. I think if you have the courage to do what's right, um, the courage to make your own decisions, um, I think kind of gaining that within yourself is actually quite a, for some people it's quite a difficult journey to find courage to um, do what it is that you want to do or fight for the things that you think are right. You are stronger than you think you are. And sometimes, you know, we're faced with um, problems or issues or or even if it was a role that we didn't feel that we were um, that we were capable of doing actually you are and it's through your courage and determination that will enable you to actually do it courage is about backing yourself so even if you have a team you have to be the own source of your motivation and your excitement and your sense so you are the best judge of your actions, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether they're otherwise. Courage for me is something that's linked with confidence. And it's also linked with understanding what it is that you're trying to achieve and being able to really be knowledgeable and be able to share that with lots of different people. I've begun to understand the value of surrounding myself with people that make me feel courageous. Uh, and that's something that I'm trying to do a lot more of. So I would say um, find those people that build you up, that uplift you, that make you feel like you can take on the world and surround yourself with them. And then you'll begin to, to drum that into your head too because some things that I found is, is there are some times when I feel, you know, I feel like I'm getting those kinds of courageous energies from other people, but it's myself that's holding me back. And I think that if we can surround ourselves more often with people that make us feel courageous, um, then we'll begin to tell ourselves that we're cour courageous and um, feel more confident in ourselves to do the things that push us out of our comfort zone. Uh, a huge part of being courageous in my belief is backing yourself, backing your ideas and backing what you bring. Well, it's pretty hard actually. Often when you've been down in the dumps many a times, you've got to try and pull yourself up and that can be really tiring. What I find is that Building courage has to happen all the time. There's always things in life that don't quite work out the way that you want them to be. So being able to talk about things with different people and being able to share the things that you're passionate about with people can help build courage for the next time that you are falling down or feeling a bit down in the things that you're doing. Now courage comes from within you 
but it also comes from sharing with others and as soon as you once you share maybe what a problem is or you share a part of yourself with others then you gain that courage together if you don't share your goals with lots of people what really are they they are things sitting on a piece of paper that maybe one day you'll get to as soon as you say something to someone it becomes real so as you move through your day and move through your schooling I would encourage you to use that courage and to take some risks to put yourself out there and have the courage to, to do you. So try not to get swamped in what other people think of you because that's really, really tough and even I feel it on a day-to-day -day -day basis, but try not to get swamped in what other people think about you. But uh, if you're moving with authenticity, if you're being the best version of yourself, if you're being a very true version of yourself, you should find the courage to be that and you will have strength of what I would call conviction and it comes from both your heart and your mind so courage is a tough one because you've got to pull it up from deep inside but it can get you some great places um, I think with courage is having the courage to be your authentic self um, can be really awesome it can be scary I think sometimes people get scared to have the courage to be who they are. I remember when I was growing up as a teenager, there, there was so much pressure to conform or be like everybody else. And um, if I could talk to my teenage self again, I would just tell myself to do what I wanted um, and not care what everyone else was doing. That's the scariest thing when you're growing up is to be an individual, be yourself.